Do you want, who is this guy? Solrik, orange juice? So this is where our story begins, on the side of a Norwegian highway with Solrik orange juice and a bag of vomit. Yeah, this is not your typical travel show. That's me, and I've seen a lot of the world with these two. They're both highly respected media professionals in their own right, with literal decades of experience between them. We filmed all over the world together. Our most recent project was in my hometown of London. And when I'm not operating the camera, I'm bringing them tea, I guess. I mean, I am English. However, something very strange happens when you bring them together on a trip. They get giddy like teenagers and sometimes do pretty crazy things. On a recent mission to Norway, I wasn't able to make it. The budget got pulled last minute, but these girls refused to not deliver. So they roughed it, and the finished product? Well, you can watch that on Taste Made, but I bet you'd rather see what happened behind the scenes. That's why we're here. Okay, look, we may be middle-aged, <laughs> but we think that we are 21. This is Jessica, and she's not 21. She is, however, a professional travel filmmaker. Yeah, it's a real job. She's filmed all over the world for big brands like CNN, United, Southwest Airlines, Tastemade, Matador, the list goes on. She's a divorcee, a former cult member, she's been a TV host in Guam. Guam? Yeah, she was a missionary there, so she decided to make a documentary. And now she's living the all-American dream in sunny Los Angeles. I think I haven't slept for nine days. <laughs> and this is Marianella. And well, she is also not 21. She is, however, a nomadic TV host who spent over a decade covering sports and entertainment. She was Travel Channel's resident beach expert. Yes, that was her actual job. She continues to not be married and once dated Nick Lackey. Lackey? Lachey? I mean, this guy, as if that's a claim to fame. And as fate would have it, Jessica and Marianella's careers brought them here to Norway to shoot a luxury travel campaign without me, their cameraman. Understaffed and overworked, sometimes luxury travel just isn't luxurious. Any time I hiccup, I'm afraid that I'm gonna barf. But the great thing about these two is they have zero fear and they couldn't give a flying f that they're in their 40s. Welcome to the 40 year old teenagers. <laughs> so our story brings us here. These guys have been all over Norway and captured epic footage for their clients in the past. They filmed all over Oslo. Jess burnt her feet in the world's hottest sauna where they apparently also met the world's hottest Vikings. I mean, well done, ladies. Hello, Texans. Who promptly removed their pants. They floated in a moving sauna, jumped off an Olympic ski lift turned zip line. They foraged for seafood in fjords and got tipsy at cider farms. But now it's time to hit the road and see the Northern Lights. Or maybe not. The aurora is kind of hard to predict, a bit like these two when no one's watching. But they're heading north to Tromso to film at a private retreat for three days, so time is of the essence on this mission. You can't go to a cabin, an epic one, in Malangan without a cute onesie. I mean, you can. If there's no onesie, we just make our own. I've got a sewing kit from the hotel. She's being serious. You're joking. No, she was not joking, and the rest of the first day was spent wine shopping. Okay, so we're gonna get this game. And searching for the perfect matching onesies, of course. Brought to you by People With Money. This is exactly the shape of my body. Girl, we ain't finding no cuteness. I was thinking the title for our show could be Fries Over Guts. And so finally, after many, many hours, they settled on matching panda sweaters. This little detour, however, put them pretty off schedule, so it was finally time to hit the road. We're following a very fast-driving Norwegian teenager. She's beautiful. She's a super babe. This super babe is actually world-renowned Norwegian architect Schnorr Stinson's daughter, who is directing the girls to the cabin, which has no address. We're lost. <laughs> We've lost her. GoPro is actually upside down. And yeah, they got lost at the first turning. Back on track, it's hard to not be distracted by the beauty and majesty of Norway. Okay, maybe it's not so difficult. I don't think we're that ugly at all. Let's cut to GoPro footage. Where's my key knife? Oh, 
<laughs> we ain't got no mortgage or kids, hey, we're gonna hate. Even for seasoned travellers like these two though, sometimes the beauty can just be too much to handle. Do you want, who is this guy? Solrick, apple, orange juice? I should just give a quick life update. I have ceased my bulimia. <laughs> it was a great diet while it lasted. Yeah. Uh, but the good thing is it's not bulimia. Yeah, my disc herniation decided to flare up like a mofo. You win some, you lose some. We're old as fuck. <laughs> she has to drive because I just puked all over the place. I did. This country. I came to the world's cleanest country and I left a memento of my Americanness. And so, with Marianella at the wheel and with Jess, well, smelling of vomit, they finally made it to the cabin. And what a cabin it is. Okay, okay, fun and games over, it's time to work. They actually did come here to shoot something special. The Northern Lights. While sickness put them back two days, they've got 24 hours to produce. And I mean, yeah, sure, some of the shots are out of focus, but that's not why you came here, is it? You came here to see two 40-year-old women going against the grain saying no to societal norms, to nine to fives, and to mortgages. I mean, look at this house, it has a climbing wall and a sauna, they're doing okay. They said yes to a different type of success, one that didn't include a white picket fence and the 401k, but instead exploring our planet, puking oh, on the side of the road, orange juice. and matching panda sweaters. And that is democracy. It's often true that the moments in between moments are the ones worth remembering. And who knows where this world is going to take these two, but one thing we can be certain of is that it'll be a story worth telling in a British accent with some heavy reverb added.